wanted to start a company which I believed would change the world. A vertical farm was an idea to basically bring farming layered on top of each other to provide a consistent year-round food supply for growing cities. What makes this different from regular farming is how the light energy is absorbed. So if you take a green leaf, it's actually just reflecting that green color. When you put it under the LED grow lights, it turns about a bit more of a blackish color because all the energy is being absorbed. There are two basic sources of inspiration from the Netherlands. One source of inspiration is this is a technological hub for horticulture and greenhouse construction. Another source of inspiration is there's a huge indoor growing community who generally grows pot. Um, and they're proving that you can innovate and create new flavors uh, with their product. And I think you can do the same thing with food. The greenhouse builders here, they don't start looking at a project until it's 2,000, 3,000 square meters. That's what their business model is based on. Now what I'm doing is I'm filling the gap. I'm talking about the two square meters and then adding that on modular by modular until you get to about 500 square meters. This is sort of the sweet spot for city farming. Sustainability doesn't sell. Right? A better product, a better way of living, that sells. Clean technology that's really expensive, that saves them point not off their heating bill. It doesn't inspire it to better serve people, um, to give them a more innovative product that they love. That will change the world. Someone who really inspires me is definitely my dad. He's reinvented his career uh, a couple of times. Uh, and today, while he's professionally a surgeon, what he gets really excited about is firefighting. I started at a media company and I went to a lighting company and I'm working in agriculture now. And they all have huge learning curves and uh, I, I like engaging in big learning curves. But one of the things that I, I have the most difficulty with is, is trusting myself. Everybody's afraid at some point and everybody gets scared. And it's, really, it's really natural. It's cultivating the ability to overcome your fears. And that's what, I learned, what I've been learning how to do. I take everything that I have and I'm throwing it at this. And people see that and it'll, good things will come. What I, I'd really like to ask people is, you know, share it, discuss it. What would be the best food system you could possibly imagine? Because as a society, we're in a position to design it now.